Okay, uh, we're now ready to do our trimming of our Stratus Gale rocket glider. Um, I do have the rubber band on the glider, so the wing is forward. The nose cone, remember, we did not glue on to the, to the, to the top because I want to be able to put clay in there. So you'll start by pushing the nose cone on hard so that it stays on. Um, and in our first toss, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grip it right here behind where the rubber band or the, uh, the string is attached. That's where I'm going to grip it to, to give it a toss. Um, I'm going to toss, I, typically I want to toss in the wind. Today it's, it's not windy so I can go any direction that I want. Um, the, my first toss, I just want to see what the glider is going to do. Is it going to nose down or is it going to stall and go up? So it's going to be a very gentle toss. Okay. Before, uh, I told you that the, the nose cone is going to come off, and sure enough, it does. So that's fine. So just put it back on. And that glide wasn't bad. Um, it, it did a little uh, rolled off to the side as it went down, but it was fairly straight. So I'm going to give it a little harder toss. That was really good. All right. Okay, that was that was that last toss was a really good toss, um, and the glider went nice and straight and fairly level. So I don't have to do much trimming at all. Um, so I'm going to give it another toss, a little bit harder this time. On that last toss, I noticed that the glider was rolling off to the side. So basically what that means is I'm getting a lot more lift on this wing or this side of the wing is heavier. Um, to compensate for that, uh, you could put a little bit of clay underneath the bottom of the wing. I have some clay here in my pocket. So the clay that comes with the kit, I'm just going to take a little bit off. Just a little bit on my finger. And I'm going to put it underneath the outer wing bottom just like that and smoosh it into the smoosh it into the uh, wood like that okay and then hopefully this brings that wing down so that it remains nice as a glide so I'm going to give it another hard toss much better it flew much straighter um, it, it did slightly turn there towards the end, so I just need just a touch more clay. Okay, so I got about as much as I had the last time, so I'm just going to add to that. And I want to make it as flat as I can so that it doesn't add a lot of drag like that. The nose cone back on and we'll do another toss. Okay so that time the glider did it, it turned to the right a little bit so I'm gonna take off a little bit of clay but I think I'm really close. Okay so I, I took off a little bit of clay and now I'm pretty I, I like how straight it's going so my next test is I'm going to throw it up high and I want to see if it's going to pull out of a dive. So for this I'm going to throw it as hard as I can because um, if it takes too long to pull out of the dive it's going to nose dive right into the ground. Okay so here's the hard throw going straight up. All right so I'm going to, I'm going to throw it again. Okay, so even though it's hitting the ground, even though it's hitting the ground, it is pulling out of the dive. So basically I just need more altitude and with the rocket launch, we'll get that altitude. One last throw. This one I'm gonna throw hard, but I'm gonna throw it more horizontal. That was very nice. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm liking the way that the glider is flying. Um, it doesn't take any nose weight for, for this particular glider. So um, it just took a little bit of, of wing weight, which is fine. So in our next video, um, we're going to go back into the shop. We're going to glue the nose cone on and glue the uh, Kevlar pieces on the side and get it ready for paint. Uh, and then once we get it painted, we'll re-trim it just like we did. Um, you'll have to pull the uh, clay off to paint, uh, but then uh, we'll put it back on after uh, we paint it. And then we're, we'll uh, get it prepped for flight, and then we can go ahead and launch it.